Have you ever wondered what type of political system exists throughout the Caribbean region? Is Guadeloupe independent? What about Bonnie and Tobago? What about Haiti? All of these and more will be answered in this series, which deal with Caribbean political culture. Let's begin. Caribbean political culture is very diverse. As a person travel from one Caribbean territory to another, they will realize that political systems differ. These differences are in large part influenced by their colonial history. For easier understanding, we've categorized Caribbean political cultures into four distinct groups, and here they are. Independent democracies, semi-autonomous territories, dependencies, and the Marxist-Leninist state. What are independent democracies? Independent democracies refer to those nation states that exercise total control of their government policies or internal affairs. Citizens exercise their franchise in free elections and elect representatives to formulate and execute laws and other policies in the best interest of the national citizenry. Here are some examples of independent democracies in the Caribbean, Barbados, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Jamaica, to name a few. Let's look at semi-autonomous territories. These are territories that remained part of a larger country, colonizing power or kingdom, while maintaining control over some aspects of their legislature and their local civil administration. They may have a local parliament, council, or assembly. Examples of semi-autonomous Caribbean territories include Puerto Rico, Curaçao, and Tobago. Dependencies. These are territories or provinces controlled by another country. They do not have full political independence. Some Caribbean dependencies include Anguilla, Montserrat, Guadeloupe, and Martinique. Now on to the Marxist Leninist state. Cuba defines its political system constitutionally as a Marxist-Leninist state. In such a state, there is one political party from which representatives are elected to the national parliament. Political candidates are required to present their resume and not necessarily a campaign proposal, since legislation is based on the one party, one state ideology. Opposing political parties in this system are considered illegal since constitutionally only one party is legally recognized. Only resident Cubans are allowed to vote. To summarize what we've learned in this tutorial, the Caribbean region has diverse political systems or cultures. These political systems can be divided into four major categories, independent democracies, semi-autonomous territories, dependencies, and the Marxist-Leninist state. Stay tuned for the next tutorial in this series where we look at independent democracies. If these learning videos are useful to you, then subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Thank you.